uh, Detective Inspector Brian Swan from uh, Gold Coast CIB. Good guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Brian, what can you tell us at this stage? Uh, earlier this morning at about 8am, uh, a uh, male person attended a unit here in Arbol uh, Drive at uh, Rabina. Uh, the body of a, um, a male person was discovered in the unit. Uh, police officers arrived and uh, conducted a search of the unit and found the body of a female inside the unit as well. Um, we have uh, established a crime scene at this area uh, and conducting inquiries into the identity of the persons uh, found in the unit. Can you say whereabouts they were found? Or I can't say except inside the unit. And the person who found them, is that a manager of the units? Or? We believe the person who found uh, the bodies is related to one of the deceased. So a family member, father or...? Well, I can't say anything more beyond that, but related to them. Are you Can looking you tell us anything someone about the ages? Sorry, one, once more. Can you tell us anything about their ages? At this stage, no. And is there a child living at the address as well? We believe there are two children living in the address and we're making inquiries now to establish the whereabouts of those children. Have you got ages at them at all? Like, right? I haven't got ages at this point in time, no. Any concern for their welfare at all? Still making inquiries as to their location at this point in time. Yeah. It's early days yet, we're still uh, working towards uh, locating where they are. Any Any relationship between the, the two people that are deceased? Uh, we're not sure at this point of time. Have you Can spoken you to the person, um, are you looking for the person that made the call about it or are you... We're speaking to that person now and that person's uh, providing us with uh, details at this point of time. Any signs of trauma inside the unit? There appears to be uh, signs of a struggle. Once again our examination has uh, not yet uh, commenced. Uh, we've only done a rudimentary examination of the uh, premises um, and uh, it's too early to say what uh, what sort of damage is done inside the unit. Uh, any, any physical blood or anything on the that zone? It would appear that both bodies have suffered some form of trauma. I can't say anything more beyond that. Should the public be concerned? At this point of time, I'd say no. Um, as I said, we're still uh, at an early stage of our inquiries and still conducting investigations into uh, the persons connected with this unit. Do you think it could be a domestic type incident? Too early to say. No, no. Found right, or? At this point of time, no. Could be the last thing I can't say that at this point of time. Is so we don't know how long they've been here? Sorry? We don't know how long they've been here in this current state? We're not too sure, but we believe they were sighted alive during the weekend. Is um, it clear whether this is a double homicide or something else? Well, there are two deceased persons inside so the unit. a homicide as opposed to...? Well, at this point in time, there are two deceased persons inside the unit. Have you been, um, have, have neighbours been able to shed any light? Have they heard any screaming or anything like that? Or... We're, we're, we're currently conducting door knock inquiries and, um, and we'll analyse the results of those inquiries once we've completed them. Is there a vehicle where, that you're interested in finding? Um, we're not sure at this point in time. We're still trying to establish uh, patterns and movements of persons concerned. Is there a vehicle? Sorry? Is there a vehicle there? As I said, don't know at this point in time. The fact that you're looking for two children, does that mean that the children had been resident at that unit? That means that we're looking for two children. Can you confirm whether a man was seen leaving the street with the child this morning? No, I can't confirm that at all.